Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Touch. I'm Darwin Campbell. Morning Touch, always brought to you by Samaritan's Touch Homeless Services, where we meet the homeless right where they are. Well, this has been a truly freedom weekend. It's been a freedom weekend because many seniors are graduating high school. They're stepping out from teen to adulthood. They're taking that next giant step into life. They're making decisions about what their future holds. There is nothing like graduation. And for those who have weathered the storm and gotten through the testing and, and the stress, walk that aisle with great thankfulness and we praise you for your accomplishments but i want to say something about graduation you know i experienced graduation in that i have a granddaughter that graduated and she's going on to college and we're excited there's nothing like being the parent of a child to see the grandchild just grow up and graduate. It's exciting. <clears throat> so let me say this. To all of those graduates out there, to all of those parents out there, savor the moment. It's wonderful. Even more so, what is greater than wonderful is when we graduate from darkness into light. You know, all of us walk and live in darkness. All of us are sinners and fall short of God's glory. From the least to the greatest, we are all in need of Jesus Christ. We are all in need of a graduation. A graduation out of darkness into his marvelous light. And for that, I turn to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 8 through 14. <clears throat> and verses 8 through 14 hold some very interesting thoughts. It says, For you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. You were once in darkness, and now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the light of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, finding out what is acceptable in the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. My friends, the Apostle Paul gives us some insight, and that insight involves graduation, that knowing where I have come from, walking in darkness, walking in sin, knowing that I have been rescued by the very blood of Jesus Christ who died for me and gave himself for me. Romans chapter five and verse eight. I have now graduated. I acknowledge that love of God. I acknowledge the Savior's willingness to stand in my place. And I graduate from darkness into his marvelous light. So now that I graduate, I no longer focus on the things of the past. Old things passed away. All things become new because I've graduated. I don't play with play school toys anymore. I don't swing on the monkey bars anymore. I don't run through the schoolyard anymore because I've graduated. I've walked through elementary. I've walked through junior high school, intermediate school. And now, as a high schooler, I have garnered and gathered the tools I need to graduate into adulthood. My friends, that's the way it is as a child of God. As a child of God, you were on that spiritual playground. You were doing things that you know were not right. You were living in ways that you know did not please God. But 
you no longer play with the spiritual play school or with the gospel monkey bars. You have left the playground. You entered the school of God's word and it trains you and develop you and your heart now is set to move into spiritual adulthood. Second Peter chapter three and verse 18. You are now ready to grow in the knowledge and grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are now ready to do the right things. You are now ready to walk forward and not look back. Because my friends, no man that puts his hand to the plow and looks back at the junior high years, back at the elementary years is worthy of the kingdom of God. Those days, those times, those ways, those mistakes are all in your rearview mirror and you leave them in your rearview mirror. The most important thing you can do is focus on what Paul says. You were once in darkness. You were once in sin, but Jesus took you in. And then a little light from heaven filled your soul. My friends, Jesus has set you up for success. While you were walking towards failure, Jesus has set you up for success. And the Bible says, now that you have been set, now that the table has been prepared, the next step in this process, Paul says, is that now you are the light in this world. You are the light of the Lord. You carry a very important responsibility. Walk as children of light, not as a child of darkness. Walk as children of light. Walk in the fruit of the Spirit. Be consumed with goodness and righteousness and truth. Find out what's acceptable to the Lord and then do it. My friends, that is your mission. That is your new task. That is your new job. Understand, change has happened. You have graduated out of darkness into light. You have graduated out of childliness into spiritual maturity and adulthood. Jesus has great things planned for you. And you are expected to follow through with those great things. But the only way to do it is you must focus, focus, focus on being a child of the light. You must focus on building the fruits of the spirit. No longer having fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. And I like what Paul says, the works of darkness, where you came from, it's unfruitful. It leads to a dead end. It is failure. But the Bible says you have graduated and your job now is to enter spiritual adulthood and apply the very principles of God's word to your life. The Bible will make you better. But my friends, you must apply it. The Bible will make you better because it leads you down the path of righteousness. The Bible will make you better because it plants your feet by the rivers of living water. The Bible will make you better, my friends. Learn it. Grow in it. Allow that knowledge to pour all over your heart because the fruit of the spirit, goodness, righteousness, and truth is waiting. You have graduated. Oh, it's just the joy seeing the, 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 the hearts of those young minds throwing up the, the hats and flipping the tassels and just, just excited about their next stage in life. Well, child of God, it is time for you to get excited about your graduation. It's time for you to get excited about your change. It's time for you to get excited about your new responsibility and understand God has great things planned for you. Step up and step forward and take that responsibility. Leave the old things, leave the old ways. Don't look back because God has given you the diploma that will lead to success, the spiritual diploma that will prepare you to be the worker in the field that he desires. The Morning Touch brought to you by 
Samaritans Touch Homeless Services. I hope this lesson has been encouraging to you because I want you to build up. I want you to graduate. I want you to move to the next level. I want you to enter spiritual adulthood ready to win and ready to fight the devil and ready to beat him at his game. My friends, remember. Remember what Paul says. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is goodness, righteousness, and truth. Find what is acceptable to the Lord. That's your next step. Find what is acceptable to the Lord. Read the Word of God and allow it to pour and to flow all over your life, my friends. That's the key. Graduation is a great thing. Old things passed away. All things become new. God bless you. God keep you. Have a great freedom graduation weekend. See you next time on The Morning Touch.